Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be adding a new Golby to my Stiffen on Hillstream Aquarium. I've been trying to find these Golbys for so many years now and I've finally got my hands on them. These Golbys are called Stiffen on Puggenonosis. I'll probably just pronounce that really badly, so I'll put the name on the screen now for you guys. So in this video, I'm going to be referring to them by their more common trade name, also known as the Gold Neon Golby. I've never seen these gold we sold in the UK, so I had to do a lot of research on how to get some here. Luckily, I found a fish shop that shared with me their wholesalers details. And then from that, I was able to have a look at the list of fish they supply, and I found these gold on their list. So luckily, around a year ago, I asked them to buy 10 for me, and they got them in super quick for me. The footage you're seeing in the background is really old. It's from about November 2022. These gold came in super small, and it was even hard to identify the males and females from this batch. I wanted to wait a little bit before I made this video because I wanted to grow these gobies out and let them mature. Now that they've been in my chrome for about a year, they started to grow and colour up a lot more now. Even when they were immature, they still had a lot of nice colour on them, but now that they're mature, the colours got so much brighter and more intense. Right now, you can identify the males as having red fins with a really long extended dorsal fin. As they get older, their bodies will start to darken up a little bit and they will contrast really well with the red on their fins. I thought I'd give you guys a little bit more information about these Golbys. The Golden Neon Golby is most common in hill streams found in Taiwan and Japan. In these streams, these Golbys can be found living alongside Stiffidon Atropoposis and Stiffidon Alcedo. I also spoke to some fish catchers in Indonesia and they said they found some of these Golbys in their streams too, but it was quite rare to find them there. In terms of size, these Golbys are quite small compared to other Stiffidon Golbys. They usually grow to about 3 to 3.5cm in length. The best comparison I can give is that they're very similar in length to Stiffidon Birdsong. Since these gobies are found in the hill streams of Japan and Taiwan, they do prefer cooler water conditions. A good temperature range to keep them will be between 22 to 26 degrees Celsius or 72 degrees Fahrenheit to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Another important thing is that these gobies really like high flow aquarium setups. So you want to aim to turn over your water at least 10 to 15 times per hour. It's really important you have a really mature aquarium as these guys can be really hard to feed sometimes. Their main diet consists of biofilm and algae, but they can be weaned onto other foods like algae wafers and even rapashi soil and green. I also like to occasionally feed mine some frozen blood worms and frozen baby brine shrimp too. These foods will help to fatten up the gobies and grow them out a little bit better. It will also add some variation to their diet too which they'll appreciate. Compared to other stiff on species, these gobies go through a dramatic colour change throughout their lifespan. When they're very young, the males will have a pale grey body with red fins. And then as they get older, the males will develop a black band near the tail end of their body. Their fins will also change from a red hue to a mixture of red and black. Also at this stage, they'll start to develop that really nice blue iridescent band that runs across their body. The cheeks of the skull will become a bright neon blue with a little black dash going down from their eye. This is a trait that's also shared with Stiffidon rutilaris. That little black dash kind of reminds me of how David Bowie did his makeup underneath his eye. It's a very striking feature on this fish. The footage you're seeing in the background now is from about a year since I got these gobies. As you can see they've grown quite a lot and started to fatten up too. The dominant male in the group has grown to about 3cm now and it started to colour up really nicely. The footage in the background shows a more mature female golden young gobby. The females will generally have a pale white body with two horizontal bands running across it. As they get older it seems like they develop some red on their fins too. So this picture here kind of shows what they will look like when they're fully mature. In this footage now you can really see how colourful these gobies can get. Their colours are really striking and it's really cool to see this on a freshwater fish. The males have this really nice horizontal iridescent neon blue band going across their body, which contrasts really well with the black on their body too. From my research I found that these gobies will have half the body black near the tail end and the other half will be like a greyish silvery white colour. Then as they get older that silvery greyish band will become more yellow in colour. Sometimes that yellow extends all the way through their body as well. I'm not sure if this is a natural variation in the species, but I'll have to do some more research to find out. The image you see in the background kind of shows how these gobies change colour over their lifespan. So hopefully this image will kind of give you a more accurate vision of what these gobies will look like as they grow and mature. As you can see, these gobies go through quite a dramatic colour change, which will be fun to watch. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video of me showing off my new gold neon gobies. I'm so happy to have these, especially after years and years of waiting. It's going to be so interesting to see how these gobies grow and mature and develop their colours over time. If you guys want an update video on these gobies when they're more mature, leave a comment below and let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, please can you give it a like and subscribe to the channel to see more.